I'm Felipe Maya here at the 2011 PlayStation Holiday Event to give you a hands-on preview of the user interface for the PlayStation Vita. PlayStation logo. And, uh, loads pretty quickly. Uh, you page that. Brings you to the menu screen. Looks like you have your apps here. You have your video, music apps, content manager, remote play with the PS3, settings. Uh, looks like your games are also stored here. Uh, you swipe down, you get the browser, messaging, PlayStation Store, your friends, uh, your photos app. You have a tutorials app as well. Let's try the music app, see what. All right, if ever you're in an app, you can just press the PlayStation logo button to go back to your home screen. Uh, let's try another app. Let's try group messaging. Uh, these apps aren't really active in this build. Uh, they're not done yet. So uh, if you click your home button, though, it takes you to your open apps. So you can just go back home. Um, open another app, go back to your home button, see all your open ones. Let's check out the browser, see if that's working. Here you have a search button on the side there. Um, let me try entering a uh, different websites. Keyboard feels pretty responsive. Um, it's very responsive. I'd say just as responsive as uh, an iPhone touchscreen. Let's see it go. And here is the cbsnews.com website on the PlayStation Vita. Uh, it's still loading some of it, but uh, I'm sure it's the fault of the Wi-Fi, not the device. Yeah. Um, yeah. So this is, that's the user interface.